had a rough morning, like really rough. Your dad woke you up early singing Christmas carols really loud. Your little brother drew marker on your favorite Christmas sweater. Or you run out of marshmallows for your hot chocolate. My whole morning was just, ugh, awful. What am I supposed to do? How should we react when we feel that way? In which way? Aunt Kelsey, have you ever just felt, ugh, like everything around you is going wrong and you just feel frustrated? <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes we all feel that way and sometimes we don't even know why. We all have those moments of, ugh. But what do I do? What do any of us do? How do I respond to those moments? Well, those moments can be hard, but remember, we don't have to do these ugh moments alone because we are never alone. God is there to comfort us, even when we feel frustrated. Comfort? Like my cozy, comfy Christmas jammies? Even better than the coziest <laughs> jammies. I wanna show you this story in the Bible. God cares about us and we can trust him knowing that he is always with us. The Bible is God's true message to us about himself. I wanna show you this story about Mary and Joseph, two people who learned that they weren't alone. Angels visited Mary and Joseph. God sent an angel named Gabriel to the town of Nazareth. The angel went to visit a young woman named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. Before they were married, God sent an angel named Gabriel to bring her some incredible news. The angel said to Mary, rejoice, you have found favor with God. He is with you. Mary was very afraid and puzzled. Don't be afraid, Mary, Gabriel said. God has chosen you to have a son and you will call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called son of the most high. He will be a great king who reigns forever. Mary asked Gabriel, how can this happen? The angel told Mary, nothing will be impossible with God. Then Gabriel had another surprise for Mary. He told her that her relative Elizabeth would have a baby too, even though Elizabeth was old. Gabriel reminded Mary that nothing is impossible with God. Mary knew that God is a great God. She said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be as you say. Then the angel left her. Talk about a rough day. <laughs> I can't even imagine how scared I would be if an angel gave me this news. Right? Did you notice what the angel said? He told Mary not to be afraid and reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. Mary must have trusted God a lot. She did, and she would have to continue trusting God. Read this next part to see what happened. Mary hurried to Elizabeth's house. When she arrived, the baby inside Elizabeth leapt for joy. Mary praised God with a song about how great he is. God was keeping his promise to bless the whole world through Jesus. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months, then she went home. When Joseph discovered that Mary would have a baby, he decided to quietly divorce her. After Joseph made these plans, God sent an angel with a message for him. This time, the angel delivered the message in a dream. As Joseph slept, he heard the angel say, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby boy is God's son. You will name the baby Jesus because he will save people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angel said. Joseph married Mary. Later, when the time came for Mary to have her baby, Joseph named him Jesus. Wow, so God comforted Mary and Joseph during this crazy time in their life? They trusted him when they had no control over what was going on. Not being in control isn't easy. It's even harder to trust God's control over my life. I think Mary and Joseph would agree with you, but they trusted that God is always in control and that was comforting to them. God comforts us too. So when my dad wakes me up early, my favorite Christmas sweater is ruined or something happens I didn't plan and everything feels, ugh, I can remember that God is with me and that is comforting. <gasps> my hot chocolate! It's gonna be all warm in the mug, but no marshmallows to float in it. Well, good news, Aunt Kelsey to the rescue. <laughs> You did make enough for both of us, right?